Hey everyone, welcome back to Form of Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out My Life by Mark Twan. Now, if you couldn't tell from my demeanor, I am very excited to check this out. And that's because of Last Breath. Last Breath was incredible. And I have actually, I actually have some additional thoughts about Last Breath, which I'll get into after the fact. But I'm looking forward to my life. Now, I don't know anything about this going in. And I know we're a few days late. I really, really wanted to check this out. You know, in the uh, past month of January, we've been reacting to stuff the day it comes out. The only reason we've been a little late with like Marks or Pentagon or several of these other comebacks is we had a weird, weird technical error where just none of our gear was working. Uh, just took several days of just like nothing working, nothing working. And finally, it's working. So we're here. Um, but I'm looking forward to this. I hope you guys are too. Before we get into it, though, guys, consider visiting our Patreon. If you enjoy our content, remember, you can visit patreon.com slash form of therapy. Uh, we do listening parties over there. We do variety, survival, K-drama reactions. So we have a lot of bonus content and you would be help keeping the channel going. All right, guys, let's get into the video. This is My Life by Mark Twan and this is your form of therapy. Is that ink real? A little bit selfish. I try, but I can't win. You don't even know. How could somebody look at me and think that I'm happy? I haven't been laughing too much anymore. You say I seem okay when I'm sitting here with all my friends. Easy to say when you're looking from the outside. And I'll never change. Loving myself, it's all pretend. And I might never again. I tried everything to please you. I forgot to think of me too. I that this is my life. Is that a base? What is that? And every time that I feel hopeless, I fuck my It's like a synth. It's like a droning synth base. Whoa. Someone would listen It's hard to explain it You don't even know Last time I told you I missed you It turned to an issue Cause I was mistaken I'll leave you alone you say I seem okay when I'm sitting here With all my friends Easy to say when you're looking from the outside And I'll never change Loving myself it's all pretend And I might never again I tried everything to please you I forgot to think of me too I woke up and realized That this is my life And every time that I feel hopeless I fuck myself up to keep on going And I never realized That this is my life Oh, fuck you. Oh, f oh, my goodness. I've never had such a visceral reaction at the end of a video that it made me angry. <laughs> that it just made me accidentally swear at Mark. When I say fuck you to Mark, I mean that very, very lovingly. I mean that like, oh my God, how are you so goddamn fucking talented? Oh, Ooh. listen, man, my life is beautiful and 
I don't know how true this is because I uh, I only read these comments um, from people, I think, uh, in, in the comments of my videos. But people were saying that the lyrics for Last Breath were about Mark singing to JYP and it was, it was about his experience in Korea or his experience uh, as a trainee or, or whatever. And, you know, listening to Last Breath... I could see how that works, but at the same time, it also works as a pop song, like you're singing about a relationship. I can see that about my life as well. I can see how my life could relate to his career and his time uh, as a trainee in uh, Korea. But unless he says it himself, you know, it could just be people like like reading way too much into it. But that's all this. That's also the sign of a really good lyricist. The fact that. It could pertain to their personal life and their personal struggle and journey, or it could just be like, you know, a song about a relationship and it, he just made it up, you know? The fact that it, it leaves people guessing is such great lyric, like lyrical writing and also like great PR, like within the writing, it gets people talking, right? It's not just about like a song, like, oh, this song's so relatable. It's like, what is this song about? Like, that's really good writing. And I think that that's carried over since last breath this music video the quality of the music video has also carried over since last breath um i think this might be the same director will chan um i really think that uh mark has a good person behind him uh working in terms of like the music videos because this was such a difficult music video to pull off it's a very emotional music video it's a very slow burn and there's not a whole lot going on. And so to be able to keep someone's interest, both visually and in the song, is it's difficult. It's difficult. But never once was I bored. Every moment I was enraptured in the entire music video. And they, they did an amazing job. I, I think the director did an amazing job. And then just this part right here, man. Wow. This was chill inducing. Oh my God. Oh. God, and that fade was beautiful. I gotta say, out of all the GOT7 members, Last Breath by Mark is my most replayed GOT7 members solos. I have always liked Mark, but like it was always more so passive in the background sort of. I just, I always really liked Mark's voice in GOT7 songs. I always thought that Mark added like a really interesting color to their songs and it was always like a really cool disruptor to the song. But seeing him go solo is actually kind of mind-blowing because the way he is expressing himself as an artist, for me personally, I, I think everyone's going to have different reactions, but I relate more closely to Mark's work as an artist than anybody else. I really like Jackson. I really like JB. I really like everyone's individual works. But something about Mark really feels just different. I, I, I don't know how, how quite to explain it. It feels just a little bit more artistic. And my life is definitely a lot more artistic than even Last Breath. But Last Breath was already really art artistic. And something that I really felt and, and why I've been listening to Last Breath constantly is... Last Breath is addictive. It has insane replay value. Uh, I think just like with the right connections. And honestly, let's face it, if Mark was white, I really think that Last Breath would have been on the radio and like been like a major chart-topping uh, billboard type of hit. And even my life, my life, my goodness, if, if they had tossed in like an extra final chorus slash outro into my life, my life could also be that kind of a song because, you know, um, there's a handful of Western uh, pop music that is just like quiet, slow burns like this, you know, like 
It doesn't always have to be exciting, fun music. It doesn't always have to be catchy hooks and choruses. Sometimes it's like emotive uh, like this. And I really feel like out of all the Asian Americans to come out of the music scene in Korea, surprisingly, you know, there's Tiffany, Jay, uh, Amber, and, you know, pardon me if I'm missing anybody else, uh, Eric Nam. I feel like Mark Twan has the most approachability in his music for Western radio. And by Western radio, I mean Western commercial success. There's Western success, which Amber uh, is pursuing it, and Tiffany is as well. And then, you know, Jay, he's, you know, still trying to figure out what he's going to do. But Mark Twan, I think, can pierce the veil. Like, his music and honestly crediting his lyrics too, I think Mark can be commercially big. Like not just catering to K-pop fans, but like commercially big in the West. Now, I think the big obstacle there is the fact that he is Asian and he is a uh, uh, quote unquote, a K-pop artist. And that always comes like with this weird tag in the US. But at the same time, if anyone can break free of that, I really think it's Mark. I think Mark as an artist is so like ripe for the Western commercial scene. And I really, really, really hope that Mark considers pursuing it because I think he'd be really, really great. I'd love to just pick apart his brain. He seems so interesting mentally, artistically. My life is, without it even being a catchy pop song, it's a 10 out of 10 just on a pure artistic level, I love it so much. It's so incredibly moving. And the fact that Mark and Bam Bam put, put this out um, uh, like within a month of each other, it's really, really great. I mean, all of the GOT7 members, their individual works are so, like they're all flourishing. It's so incredible. And I d d just, you know, I don't want to stoke those JYP flames again, but like, what the fuck? Like, why Why didn't they capitalize on this? Like, look at how great everyone's doing. It just, it makes no sense. But, Mark, wow. Jaw-dropping. I'm so incredibly moved. This is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. And I really hope Mark puts out an album, more music, hits the stage. I would love to see Mark on stage. I feel like Mark would be, like I would love to see Mark perform Last Breath on stage. I would love to see how he would perform something like My Life on stage. I just, Mark is, Mark is doing a slow burn with his releases, but I am loving every single one of it. And Last Breath is my most replayed song from all the GOT7 members. And I just, I'm, I'm in love with this. I, I I think there's no other way for me to put this. I'm in love with the art that Mark Twan puts out. It's incredible. Um, guys, that's gonna be it for My Life by Mark Twan. Honestly, like Last Breath was good, but that was like, oh man, this is like a Western commercial pop song. Like this is really good. But My Life is just pure art and as a filmmaker, as a just like a art lover, like, I, I mean, I think I'm going to be listening to Last Breath more than I listen to My Life, but I think My Life has a lasting impression on me and it moved me more than Last Breath did. And I'm just so insanely happy for him and proud of him. This was incredible. Um, guys, let me know what were your thoughts for Mark's My Life. Let me know in the comments down below. We'd like to know what you guys think about his work. Um, if you enjoyed this content, remember you can visit our Patreon. Of course, you don't have to. Um, if you don't want to support us monetarily or you can't, you can always just like the video down below. And remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're going to be checking out more from Mark in the future. Uh, if you want to check out our other videos, go ahead and check them out over here. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.